haven't talked to you since obviously yes. yesterday when yes. I had the news. So yes. To know what this is, I know you wanted a resolution, but are you also disappointed, and for him especially, that oh. it is what it is? Yeah. Um, we were told today he had a tear in his capsule. Now, I don't know exactly what that means, but um, I am, I'm extremely disappointed for him. Anytime one of your players goes through what he's went through the last two years, I mean, it's hard. Um, but we're going to be there for him, and, and we need to help him get through this difficult time, and his family needs to help him get through this time and um, get him back to pitching. Do you think it's probably hard for him, though, given that it's going to be a awfully long time, it seems, before we see him on a mound. It's tough to keep that in perspective sometimes, I'm sure. Well, you'd be surprised how fast time can go when you're going at it every day. And, um, you know, they were, once we, you know, get an answer, we're going to have a better idea how much time uh, it's going to be. But um, hopefully uh, we'll have him back pitching at some point. He said he can't imagine him in any other uniform than a Yankee uniform. I mean, I know no one knows what the future holds, but would you expect that we see him back? Uh, I'm not sure. Um, you know, you always expect that all your players are going to come back. You always think of Chin Ming Wong as a Yankee because that's all we've known him as. Um, but, you know, that's that's more for the off season than now. How about a save us, Joe? How is he? When do you plan to use him again? Uh, he is he is much better. He, he played catch today and threw a few off the mound. So um, my guess is I probably wouldn't use him tonight. He'll be available for us tomorrow. Joe, is there any concern uh, for him? He's pitched a lot of the fatigue in his shoulder despite really not pitching very much the past week. Was there concern about this being something more serious? No, we had him up a couple days, and I think that's where the fatigue um, set in. Um, no, I'm, I'm not concerned. Um, you know, he snapped back pretty good today. So, you know, obviously if he was to throw tomorrow and then, and then you know, felt the fatigue again, you might be a little bit more concerned. But um, everything was good today and everything he did. Joe, are you interested to see Job and see if those two great home starts can translate to a road start? I mean, yeah. I mean, uh, he's been really good his, his last two starts, and we wanted to carry over and just continue to build on it. Um, He's done everything he's had to to win ball games, and we just need him to continue to do that for us. I'll take you off the hook. Jim, you talked about it being important Monday, obviously, to continue what you did at home. The Rays knew yesterday was vital. Yeah. How do you look at today, uh, obviously, the rubber game? Well, I think it's an important game because we want to continue to win series. Because if you do that, you're going to be in a good position at the end. And... Uh, this is a very good ball club we're playing, and we would love to win this series, and we got a chance to do it tonight. Had you, I know you said you weren't gonna, didn't know too much more about Wong, but is there any idea yet on how long it'll be before he's able to pitch? No, I, I think once we get the results from Dr. Andrews, that will give us a better idea how long he's going to be out. So I have not gotten those results from the surgery. You would think we'd get him sometime tonight, um, so maybe after the game. He did have the surgery today. Everything, Jason, he did have it, right, the surgery? Yeah. All right. yeah. I mean, I know he was supposed to. <laughs> Joe, are you guys any closer to addressing the outfield at all? Are you comfortable? As long as a save is a bit of a question mark, do you need to keep Abeladeo here? As long as we come through tonight, uh, okay, I, w I would think that we could possibly do it tomorrow or the next day. Um, so, I mean, we're just kind of taking it day by day because if we had some of our guys down in the bullpen. Uh, but we're much closer to doing it than we were a couple of days ago. And as you sit here right now, do you mean addressing it through someone at AAA? It could be. Um, there's always different ways that you can address it. Um, uh, that could be it. Uh, I'm not going to say that's necessarily going to be it, um, but that could be it. And we'll just get through tonight, and then we'll talk about it tomorrow. Have you and Brian pretty much agreed on what you need to do, and we're just waiting to get through your bullpen situation to you know, to go through with that plan? No, we've kicked around a bunch of different ideas. Um, so it, it's it's not set in stone. Um, you know, the, we're going to see three lefties against against uh, Chicago now. So obviously, you know, you, you prefer a right-handed hitter. Um, before it was going to be two and two, and now it's it's changed. Um, Cologne was put on the DL, and we're going to see Richard Friday night. So that's changed. So, you know, we're looking at right-handed options. Uh, he's one of the guys whose name has been brought up. I mean, there's a bunch of people's names that have been brought up, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to make a decision tomorrow. How much attention do you pay to rumors right now, trade rumors? 
You know, you, you, trade rumors, you always wondered if it's, it's the team that's trading the player trying to get more value for the guy or it's really actually happening. So, I mean, you listen, you hear them. I mean, they're hard not to hear, um, you know, because baseball is a big part of our lives. So, uh, I mean, from what I understand, there was a trade today, Cliff Lee. Uh, it's always pending that physical, but, um, you know, he was a good pitcher in our league. You're taking around a lot of options sound like it necessarily has to be someone who can play center field. No, it doesn't. Uh, you know, we're not necessarily looking, and we're not even saying the guy that we bring up is going to stay the whole time. You know, we're just uh, kicking around options and talking what our best option is, and his name's brought up, and uh, we'll continue to discuss it, but the, right now the focus is our bullpen needed a little bit of help, and we're sticking with that. Marte didn't get there. two days mm -hmm. last night. Uh, his velocity was down. Um, and that's something we want to see stay up for him. I think he was, uh, I think his high high mark last night was 88, and before it had been 93. So, I mean, that's something that we have to look at and probably get a couple of days off and go back at it and see today's Wednesday, maybe on Friday. I know you and Brian both said you may be back sooner rather than later. Is that now uh, maybe not quite as optimistic? Well, no, I mean, uh, you know, he could come out Friday and the velocity could be right back there. And, and, um, and we might feel that, you know, it's, it's going to be sooner than later. Um, just take it day by day with him.